Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very exciting video for us because we have a dog. So I'm taking care of this little puppy for two weeks, which means I'm gonna make a video out of it. No, it's not my dog. It's actually my sister's, but my sister's in America. So she's mine now. Her name is Olive. I figured I would just take you along on some of our activities that we do because it's just me and her for a week. And who doesn't love a little bit of doggy content? I've put little clips of her in my previous videos, but this is gonna be a full video just dedicated to her. She's 10 years old and she's a half Chihuahua, half Jack Russell. She kind of acts like a cat though. She's not really a real dog. We'll see if you notice that throughout the course of this video. But yeah, let's just go on a walk. You ready to go on a walk? She's really excited for her walk, so let's go. Quick outfit of the day. We have blue jumper, gray skirt with a brown belt, the brown boot going on down here. Also, my ruffler in the bag. Here. It's such a nice day outside today. It's like really warm. I don't have to wear a jacket or anything. The only thing that Olive does that's a normal dog thing to do is play fetch. But she doesn't even do it right. Olive, you're supposed to bring it back to me. What is it doing over there? No comprende? Oh. Oh, she did it. There we go. The other thing she likes to do is put the ball underneath her. Where is it? And she protects it like a little egg. And if anybody tries to take it from her, she gets very upset. Um, I think today's plan is just to have like a little chill day. But I have some more exciting plans for Olive and I in the next couple of days. Hopefully she won't be too bored. Taking a little nap with your ball, Olive? She gets very territorial over that ball. This dog is also very food obsessed. I can't eat anything without her sitting directly on top of me. It's the time of the day where she gets belly rubs. So she just sits on my lap like a weirdo. I used to live with Olive, fun fact, for maybe like five years, I can't remember. Then we moved away from each other for a very long time and now finally live in the same country again, which is so exciting because now I get to see you all the time. She just looks like such a little bane. Look at her. She's the cutest little puppy ever. So, it's the next day. And every, no, every, no, every day I wake up and she's sat like this with her paws in my face, begging me to go for a walk. I fed her like at 6 a.m. already. So it's not like she's dying. She's fine. But guess what, Olive, we're gonna go to the park today. Well, why does she sit like that? After the park, Olive and I are gonna sit in a cafe and I'm gonna draw. My niece gave me these colored pencils so I could draw something for her. So I've been doing a lot of drawings recently. Let me show you what I've done so far. I'm working on this one for myself. It's not done yet, but it's just like my favorite flowers, which are lilies and roses. And then this one is the one I did for my niece. She asked me to do this a while ago, so I finally got it done. I think I did a really good job. I'm really proud of myself, but I want to do another one today. So I'm planning on doing that in the cafe. If I can lug all of these colored pencils over. Outfit of the day, we got denim jacket, black sweater underneath, dress pants, red shoes, red bag. Got yourself stuck? Oh, Olive. I never understood why dogs can't just figure that out for themselves like obviously you just need to walk around the pole or whatever it is you know she's having 
being so much fun, I think. She just walked through a big puddle of mud. She's on a mission. She has somewhere to go. Whew, feels like a workout. It's such a beautiful day. Okay, I don't need a jacket. I have this tiny little denim jacket on and I'm so warm. It's so nice. Oh, she's not interested in you, Olive. There's so many other dogs out today. I'm loving it. Look at those paws, Olive. That's not good. Wow, look how pink this is. That is so pretty. anyone wondering, I'm driving the Alhambra, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but it's this building in Spain. It's going better than I was anticipating, to be honest. Olive, you just had treats. You don't need any more. I think I'm going to go And I did a little bit of reading as well. It's time to go. We're officially back from the day out. Near the end there, she was a very, very bad girl because she decided that she was gonna find a massive chicken wing, freshly baked too, like it was hot. I don't know where she found it. Not only did she try and do this, but she wouldn't let it go. So we were having like a little tug of war fight. She probably thought it was so funny and it was just very embarrassing. We were about to be home and of course she decides to take a poo in the middle of the street and I had no poo bags, so I just had to leave it. She had a long day, so I'm not gonna be too mad at her. But it was very rude, Olive. She's a spoiled little doggy. You're so spoiled. It's the next day and we're having a chill day today. We went on a walk this morning. Sorry for the sound in the back, that's my heater, but I'm not gonna turn it off. Now we were just taking a nap together. Look how sleepy she is. So now I'm giving her cuddles so that she feels happy. But we don't really have any plans today. I'll go on another walk tonight with her so that she gets all tired. But until then, we're just watching TV and stuff like that. Yeah, this is, this is basically today's plan. It's officially my last day with Olive. She's a sleepy girl right now. She just had her breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna go back to bed now. Okay, quick little outfit of the day. Got my little jacket, some jorts, my brown boots, and my Ralph Lauren bag. And I'm ready to go. Time to take Olive on a walk. I know. But we have to put on your hoodie so they can see. Oh. So here's her little hoodie. It says pet life on the hood, which is so cute. I just thought this was so adorable and she looks so happy, obviously, to be wearing it. She's such a good girl when she's in the hoodie. She doesn't do anything naughty. I won't make her wear the hood um, on our walk today because it's actually quite warm. But I just thought it would be so cute to see. Okay, I'm gonna take it off now. You're free. This is our final walk together, Olive. It's a bit cloudy, which I'm disappointed by because the forecast said it was going to be sunny. Oh my god, that's horrendous. The bangs are not compatible with the wind. We just got back from our walk. Olive had a great time, even though she looks terrified for some reason. She had a lovely time. To end this video off, I just wanted to go through some of the doggy highlights of the week because I feel like that's just like a wholesome way to end the video. Quick side note though, if any of you guys are readers, this is completely unrelated to the video, but I've been reading this book called Vicious and if you need like a quick read, if you're in a reading slump or something, you need something that will just like get you back into reading, I recommend Vicious. I'm really liking it right now. Starting off strong with this photo, this is when it was cuddle time. She just looks so cute. The way she sat, just like a kangaroo is so cute to me. She's just a little baby Roo. Look how cute she is. Then there's this one. I didn't even know that this happened because obviously I was asleep, but my boyfriend took this photo. And her legs are up. <laughs> 
This is Her on the Train. That was the book that I was reading last week. Also, I definitely recommend. Um, but yeah, she just looked like such a comfy girl and she was in her little hoodie. This is another favorite. Um, that was her begging me to go for a walk. Another great one, this was her in between me and my boyfriend uh, sleeping in bed. Her eyes had rolled to the back of her head and it was actually quite creepy. Another great one, this was us at the pub and Olive was very comfy cozy on this couch, snuggled in between us. <laughs> this was also funny. This is a great one. This is a photo of Olive letting my boyfriend out to pee. Okay, I think that was it for today's video. I know it was a bit of a sidetrack from my usual content, but I love dog. I love dogs, so I'm hoping anybody who subscribed also loves dogs because if you don't love dogs, that's a bit of an issue that I have with you. But either way, I'll be going back to my more fashion-related content after this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I post every single Saturday. If you have any video recommendations or suggestions, just let me know down below in the comments. I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye!